Feminist Criticism on Everyday Use by Carter, Drew, Dwen, Emily, and Cassidy. So the goal of modern femini- uh, many modern feminists is to end discrimination and achieve equality for all women. Uh, modern feminists strive to impose change um, that will provide benefits uh, for other women in the coming years. Um, and there are a lot of uh, political movements and programs um, that are run by modern feminists um, with the goal of bringing about such changes. Background of modern feminism. Though the feminist movement started long before the 1900s, it completely transformed from 1980 to 1990. Feminists began to worry about the next generation of feminists, and this is commonly referred to as the beginning of the third wave of feminism or modern feminists. Due to the generational differences between feminists, their goals were now completely transformed. The feminist theory has been examined and reviewed by many other men and women. Strengths and weaknesses have been pointed out by the readers in order to advance the theory or to shut it down. One strength of the theory is that feminists have had the same goal for decades, which was gaining rights and equality to men. The viewpoints are made by women, so other women that feel oppressed join together to strengthen the theory. It exposes the dark side of women's lives, such as needing help to escape from domestic violence and abuse. Gender roles that are socially constructed are brought up also, which can help bring awareness to the larger issue. One of the main weaknesses of the theory is the perspective. The main points are created from a woman-centered viewpoint. Men and women see the world differently, so a male perspective could help aid the theory. If the theory is solely based off of the perspective of the favoring side, then bias is created and men will not want to hear the theories. Privilege and social oppression are also addressed, but have significantly different approaches to understanding the mechanisms behind them. There have also been accusations of blatantly ignoring the domestic labor of men and the present increasing economic and educational achievements of women. Some questions to consider with this theory is the societal limitations. We have to look at the timeline of the period. During um, The story was during the 1950s and 60s after World War II, when women had to reverse the um, gender stereotypes and fill in the jobs for men out, um, overseas. And the division of labor, the patriarchy, has um, denied women the access of opportunities and has stunted the growth of gender equality. But despite being um, limited to a societal norm, our theory dives into the positive effects of females being bold and innovative and where that confidence will bring them. And it suggests that for a woman to be successful in any aspect, they must take initiative on their own. And um, this will come with a trade-off and being courageous and bold um, will come with a cost and we will dive deeper into these later on. So our uh, feminist scope is how society um, puts limits on females due to, strictly due to the gender and how um, to make up for that females must be bold to be um, equal or successful and how overcoming those limits will come with a the cost, but it builds on their character and even adds more to their success. So throughout the story, we see various elements of style, tone, and language that relate back to the theory. Um, So Mama approaches the story in a real way, um, so to speak. She describes everything as it is um, while using figurative language, but in a way that shows her and Maggie as living a very real or normal life. Um, And then with respect to tone, Uh, Mama's tone in the story is sort of uh, sympathetic towards Maggie, yet uh, almost critical of Dee and um, sarcastic towards her. Um, For example, Mama described uh, a dress that Dee was wearing as so loud that it hurts my eyes. Um, And then for language, uh, Mama just uh, describes herself um, saying, I am a large, big boned woman with rough man working hands. She also talks about killing a hog as mercilessly as a man could. Um, this shows how she is bold and how she takes initiative to be um, or to experience success. Um, and then she also goes on to compare and contrast Dee and Maggie. Um, she describes Maggie as thin and walking with a, like a lame dog. And we also know that her physical appearance was affected by a fire. Um, additionally, Dee says that Maggie's brain is like an elephant. So these uh, descriptive elements uh, show how Maggie was viewed by others and how she lacked confidence. Um, Dee is also described by Mama as 
having nicer hair and a better figure than Maggie. And mama also says that Dee wanted nice things. Um, so essentially she uh, was trying to defy society's limitations by changing her lifestyle in many different ways. This uh, story's point of view is set in first person where Mrs. Johnson, also known as Mama, is the main character. And we know that she's African-American living in Georgia in the 1960s. And this obviously has um, a big effect on how her perspective is. It's also mixed in with dialect at some times and the reader is addressed directly at some points, so, but is primarily in first person and has a very conversationalist tone. But um, this reveals how Mama feels about herself and every other character but it also has the potential to be biased just because it is her own opinion. And Mama is de uh, depicted as a very sympathetic, caring and likable person. And Dee is kind of seen as a discord. She's very unattached and a little bit different from Mama. So they don't uh, necessarily connect. And Mama doesn't have uh, as great of a relationship with Dee as she does with Maggie. Maggie is portray portrayed as a kind of a shy and insecure person, but they, her and Mama share some opinions on their heritage that are very different from Dee's. They are all successful in their own ways. Mama kind of defies the stereotypes and is proud of her manly, manly features and abilities to reject the social norm of being a typical housewife in this era. She takes care of her kids and works at the same time, but she also does lack a deeper view of the world outside of her life. And that's where, why there's a contrast with her and Dee. And because this is in Mama's perspective in the story, um, Dee's confidence was portrayed to the reader as condescending. And here, Dee's cost was her relationship with her family and her loss of her heritage. And Maggie, in this case, she's um, portrayed as insecure, but she's seen as a figure of purity. It's kind of showing how she's working up to being successful and bold eventually in the future. So now we can discuss the allegories and myths surrounding feminism and the activists. Um, feminists are all about equality between genders. So the yard in everyday use represents a free space where they can express themselves and address all their problems. Um, the difference in opinions about the quilt and their culture support the theory that feminism can be present in everyone. The stereotypes such as that feminists hate men and are unfeminine and they can only be women are inaccurate and should be abandoned. It is previously mentioned that it is it is frequently discussed in the story that the characters counter the stereotypes of feminists. They are hardworking like men, but also have feminine traits as well. Characters and setting. The setting in everyday use takes place in rural Georgia during the 1960s, and the main characters are Dee, Mama, Maggie, and Dee's boyfriend. The short story begins with the mother, referred to as Mama, and her daughter Maggie, awaiting for the arrival of the eldest sibling, Dee. Dee is described as having intelligence unlike her sibling mother, who Dee essentially almost deems as inferior due to this. She also looks down on them because they stay in a situation that society um, puts them in instead of going out and discovering their new life. Throughout this short story, it is evident that Dee embodies modern feminism. She goes so far as to now go by a new name and sheds her old life by doing so, highlighting the confidence it takes for modern feminism. The setting emphasizes how women in this time period still lack the same rights of men yet the feminist movement was still growing. So when we consider the theme and plot of the story, the main themes are identity and heritage. And while um, a big part of this is definitely rural versus urban life, um, the ideas of feminine and masculine values and how they're portrayed play a big part in this story. While Mama has strong masculine traits, she still lives what would be considered a traditional feminine life, if you will. Whereas Dee's education was considered the more traditional masculine thing to do, yet she goes about herself, dresses um, very much like a woman and lives her life out like a strong and independent woman, which is very powerful. Dee definitely inherits her strength from Mama, um, yet she believes she's more sophisticated and sort of rejects the ideas that she's grown up with. Um, we see this in many ways, the most important of which is her changing her name. So for our activity, we have a true or false, one weakness of feminism would be the way it exposes hardships. This is false. Question two, which societal limitation did not have an effect on women? A, time period, B, religion, C, stereotypes, or D, opportunities? The answer is B, 
religion. And that's our work cited. Thank you for watching.